a bad pitch for a pony who works with her head in the clouds. Oh, yeah? Think you can do better, cowgirl? I know I can. <laughs> oh, for Paige's sake. <laughs> Looks like this Pegasus can pitch better than the workhorse. <laughs> the object of the game is to get the closest to the stake. All right, all right. You got another throw there, pony girl. Hmm? Yeah. Wow, Rainbow. <laughs> you couldn't hit a barn door with that kind of a throw. Yeah, yeah. I still have the closest throw, Apple Smack. Just try and beat it. <laughs> yeah, how? It's a ringer. That's how we do it down here on the farm. I lost. Oh, don't feel bad, Rainbow. It's all in good fun. I hate losing. Besides, you're a mighty good athlete. I'm just bitter. <laughs> all right, Applejack. You think you're the top athlete in all of Ponyville? Well, I was gonna say in all of Equestria, but that might be killed in the lily. And I think I'm the top athlete. So let's prove it. Prove what? I challenge you to an iron pony competition. A series of athletic contests to decide who's the best once and for all. You know what, Rainbow? You're on. <laughs> My little pony, my little pony, ah, oh, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be, my little pony, until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun, a beautiful heart, faithful and strong, sharing kindness, it's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete, you have mine. Doing what now? An iron iron pony competition. See, we've set up a bunch of events to decide which one of us is the most athletic pony ever. And I'm here to. Uh, I don't know. Why is she here? To be our judge and keep score. Right. <laughs> Some ponies gotta record my awesomeness for the history books. <sighs> Every pony, and welcome to the first annual Iron Pony competition. Uh, Spike, who are you talking to? Um, them. Let the games begin. Yeah! <laughs> Ready, set, go. Time, Spike. 17 seconds. You're kidding. That breaks my record from last year's rodeo. But you got a five-second penalty for nudging the barrel. Duh, nuts and chews. Still, that's 22 seconds. Not too shabby. Hey, don't be nervous. Remember, it's all in good fun. Now get on up there. Ready, set, go! <laughs> That was some fancy hoof work there, Rainbow. <sighs> Thanks, but I couldn't have been as fast as you. What was the time on that, Spike? 18 seconds. <gasps> 18 seconds? Rainbow, are you sure you're not secretly a rodeo pony? Rainbow Dash wins the barrel weave. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I won. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> don't you go getting used to it. But let me show you how it's really done. Years of apple bucking. Yep. Why me? Go! Ouch. Ready for another pony ride? No. Go! Rainbow Dash wins the Bronco Buck. And I lose. Yeah. How do I get roped into these things? Oh. 
Does this count? Uh, huh? oh. Jack. to race me in it. <laughs> Easy, schmeezy. Hold on. Uh, there is one condition. The point is to run. So no wings allowed. No wings? Uh, no problem. excited about the race. It's only for ponies. Yeah, but I'm hoping I can be the announcer again. Just listen. Phillies and gentle colts, welcome what? to the annual yeah, running of the... This is Pinkie Pie, your official eye in the sky announcer. Sorry, Spike. I guess that job's already taken. As every pony knows, the run is a very important tradition, for without it, the autumn leaves of Equestria would never fall. So get ready, ponies. The Iron Phony, you mean. So, Applejack, you ready to win second place? I'm ready to run a good, clean race. Yeah, yeah. You are not allowed to use your wings. I could win this race with both wings tied behind my back. Mm. Trust up like a turkey. Well, a turkey you can't fly, that is. Very funny. Lace, now we know we're racing fair and square. Racer! Um, Pinkie Pie? Hey, Spike, what's up? Oh, wait, it's me. I'm up. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I know you're doing the announcing today and stuff, and I'm sure you're going to do a great job and all, but I was just wondering... What? Uh, forget it. Spike, 
Would you like to be my co-reporter? We could comment on the action together. We could? Climb on up! Twilight? What tarnation are you doing up here? I'm racing. <laughs> Good one, Twilight. <laughs> I'm not joking. What? You're not an athlete. You're a... Well, you're an egghead. I am not an egghead. I am well-read. Egghead. <laughs> but ha have you ever run a race? Well, no. <laughs> but I do know a lot about running. And do you know this from... Books. I've read several on the subject. <laughs> What'd you read? The Egghead's Guide to Running? Did, did, did you stretch out your eye muscles to warm up? <laughs> Get it? Eye muscles? Scoff if you must, Rainbow, but the running of the leaves is a Ponyville tradition. And since I'm here to learn, I've decided I should experience it myself. Well, I think that's just dandy, Twilight. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, see you at the finish line tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ponies, are you ready? Get set. And they're off. Welcome to the official coverage of the running of the leaves. You know, Spike, despite its name, the leaves don't do any of the actual running. No, that's left to my little ponies. What? Uh, yes, Pinky. It's the running of the ponies that causes the leaves to fall. Ugh. Those lazy, lazy leaves. But this year, the run is about more than the weather. It's about the race to the finish and the two runners who want to win it. Applejack and Rainbow Jack. You know, Pinky, these two ponies have a bit of a grudge match they're trying to settle, trying to prove who's the most athletic. Yes, and grudge rhymes with fudge. Yes, it does. What? And I like fudge, but if you eat too much fudge, I get a punch and then I can't fudge. So, no fudge? Oh, uh, no thanks. I had a big breakfast. Let's check in with our two competitive ponies, Applejack and Rainbow Dash. Coming come fast out of the gate, Applejack and Rainbow Dash are evenly matched, running neck and neck. But what's this? Applejack is making a move. She's now ahead by a nose. But Rainbow Dash won't let Applejack have it and takes the lead. She's ahead by half a nose. Or maybe three quarters of a nose. No, about 63.7% roughly speaking. Applejack sees his move and plunges forth with a strong workhorse leg, leaping ahead by 350 noses! Not so easy without wings, is it? Come on, Rainbow! Show him a little dash! Oh, hold your horses, Pinky! Rainbow Dash is catching up to front runner Applejack! What an upset! I thought Applejack had this in the bag! You didn't think I was gonna let you off that easy, did you? Whoa! I don't believe it. I know, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's not the scenery, Twilight. Rainbow Dash just tripped me. She did not. She did too. She did not. And if you slowed down and looked where you're going, like me, you'd see that you tripped over a rock. What? Oh, hey, Seed. <sighs> now I got a lot of ground to make up to catch Rainbow. Just be careful. Jack would never cheat. It was just an accident. Sure it was. I mean, yeah, I'm sure it was. Remember, Rainbow, this is just a game. Yes, but the rules have changed. And who can play at that game? Welcome back, Pony Millions. It's me, Pinkie Pie. 
And Spike! Looks like Rainbow's doing her best to catch up! I'm not sure how ketchup is gonna help her in this contest. Now, in a hot dog eating contest, it can make them doggies nice and slippery, but personally, I prefer mustard. How about you, Spike? Uh, I like pickles. And it looks like Applejack has found herself in quite a pickle as Rainbow overtakes her. Look, Ma, no wings. As the racers enter Equestria's Whitetail Wood, Rainbow dashes back in the lead. <gasps> well, that little cheater did that on purpose. It's on. <laughs> nice one, Rainbow. Lighter. Be up ahead? <laughs> I'm sure to win now. Except that all the other racers just passed you. Oh, horse apples. See ya! Applejack, what are you doing up here? There aren't even any trees. I uh, know, but the sign's pointed this way. <laughs> Rainbow. Mind giving me a lift? <gasps> what the heck? You said no flying! No, I said no wings. I must say, Spike, that this has been the most interesting running of the leaves in Equestria history. With the most interesting announcing. But it isn't the running that's been fascinating. It's the lack of running. I'm not an athlete, but shouldn't the running of the leaves actually involve running? You know, I think Twilight's right. You do? Yeah. If you want to beat me, you better... <laughs> Once again, Rainbow Dash and Applejack are neck and neck, jockeying for a position. Applejack inches ahead. Now it's Rainbow. It's Applejack. It's Rainbow Dash. It's Applejack! Oh, she did! Yeah. Oh, yes, she did! Uh. Cut it out! No, you cut it out! You started it! And now I'm gonna finish it! Oh, no, you won't! Uh. Oh, yes, I will! Uh. rather good considering I've never run a race before. What? How's that even possible? You ran so slow and looked at the scenery. 
Exactly. I paced myself, just like my book said. Then at the end, when all the other ponies were worn out, I sprinted to the finish. I don't believe it. Twilight beat us. Well, with all your horsing around, it was quite easy. You're right, Twilight. Our behavior was just terrible. We weren't very good sports. Sounds to me like an important lesson was learned. Princess, Princess Celestia! Celestia! What are you doing here? Fall is one of my favorite seasons, so I came to celebrate the running of the leaves. I'm sorry you had to see us being such poor sports, Princess. <laughs> That's all right, Applejack. Any pony can get swept up in the excitement of competition. It's important to remember that the friendship is always more important than the competition. Exactly, Twilight. Now, unfortunately, because the two of you were busy tricking each other instead of shaking down leaves, many of the lovely trees in Equestria are still covered. Why, Princess, I bet we can knock those leaves down for your lickety split. What do you say, friend? Want to go for another run? I'd love to stretch my legs. 